cool would it be to be a blogger, doing what you love, and the next thing you know, you have your own show covering the subject matter you love doing? Well, that dream has come true for our next guest. His name is Matt, and Matt's show is called Alternate Route. And how cool is the match with this show with the Esquire Network? Well, I think Esquire has a history of men's content that I think is, uh, is rich in history. And I think it's a perfect transition now to bring that kind of content uh, and people interested in that content to the screen. Well, Matt, congratulations on the show. I can't wait to tune in. But most of us live life from point A to point B, wanting to get there as fast as we can. And yet, you have taken the alternate route. And what could we be learning if we slowed down a bit? I think what you're missing by not taking the back road, right? By not taking the off the beaten path, the road less traveled, is I think you're missing good local food. I think you're missing great characters, uh, terrific stories, uh, often great takeaway and finds if, if that's like, you know, a pair of jeans or a swap meet or, you know, just that, that kind of takeaway that means something to the place. I think you're missing often great local history that, you know, sometimes you, you know, I know you want to get there as quickly as possible, but sometimes taking the slower route uh, is one that is the most rewarding. Well, indeed it can be. Matt, I mean, you've had many of these alternate route journeys. Tell us about one person that's been so unique. Well, I met this guy named Tony Formosa that taught me how to drive a uh, stock car. And I really had no idea what to experience. I, but it was the most raw, the most exciting driving experience that I have ever had. And, you know, and I've spent a lot of time behind the wheel and I love driving and sometimes, unfortunately, driving fast. But nothing rivals like being strapped to a, you know, 600 horsepower stock car. I mean, it's like it's alive. Well, Matt, I've got to ask you, a six-time champion of NASCAR, Jimmy Johnson, in trouble knowing that you are now on the track? <laughs> I'll tell you, man, that is an addictive thing. I, I, get, the, I get the drive and the attraction of that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready. Well, Matt, I'm intrigued by this show. I would love to drive a stock car myself, but we'll get to experience it through you. But how is this show laid out, and how do you pick the places you stop? Well, I think, you know, the, you know I... I pick up a vintage car everywhere I go. So Nashville starts out with me in this 69 Chevy pickup, which is just for me the most iconic vehicle to explore that town in. And I just kind of begin to map out what I'm going to do. I give a little bit of a history of the place and how Nashville is rich in music and the, the, the honky tonk. But let's like step away from that and find the new stuff that is, uh, is, that is there and rich for the discovery. All right, Matt, perfectly. Give us a teaser of what you discovered there. Well, in Nashville, I find this great little denim shop called Emma Jean and Willie of this uh, young couple that came back to Nashville to set roots in their business and in, in roots in American denim and uh, brought that manufacturing into their shop. And, you know, it's just kind of changed the face on how we look at blue jeans. And, and it sort of brought it to the, the place where it all began. Uh, and ironically enough, they worked for Levi's in the beginning and then decided to bring this back into like a homegrown business. I think the small distillers that popped up there, uh, I unfortunately indulged a bit too much on that episode, but I really got my fair share of great whiskey in Nashville. Well, how cool you made Nashville one of your stops, one of my favorite cities. But before we go, Matt, congratulations on this show, Alternate Route. But what have you learned along your journey of success that you can share with the rest of us? Uh, I think you, you know, stick to your guns. Eventually, someone will notice you. Like, stick to, stick to what's true and, uh, and what you love to do. Uh, eventually, it, I promise you, it all works out. That is so cool. I'm so glad it worked out because we get to enjoy you on this brand new show. Thank you for your words of wisdom. And more importantly, we look forward to tuning in to Esquire Network. Thanks, Con.